If you get the shot, you basically can ditch the mask nearly everywhere, the CDC says. So look, as America rejoiced this news, I guess we could take them off, right? Yeah, so that's great. I haven't heard this and I, I'm excited. That the CDC recommends fully vax citizens do not need to wear their masks. I am very nervous that people, including my own patients, are going to be not only confused, but also feel like they should still wear masks because they don't know if they can trust the person next to them. Oh, you mean like... So we only made it about four hours today at Disney World because... My family kind of hates amusement parks. First of all, it was harder than hell out there, like a whore in church. And Disney, you're kind of mask holes. I'm not going to lie. Always up in our business. Lisa Wilson, promoter of debunked Trumpian drug hydroxychloroquine. You don't feel any guilt. You don't feel bad about this. You don't, you don't worry because it's, it's just your world. It's only, you know, although yep, you care about. My world. Or this person, I concur, Doc. People who've been vaccinated now, they really do need to get the feel that we're approaching some form of normality. Let me be clear, this is great news. However, it's not like there is zero cause for concern. The most glaring example is the New York Yankees. With the vaccine mm -hmm. still after getting vaccinated, there's a chance people could Correct. still pick up the virus. As people need to know the terminology, breakthrough cases. We can expect them, they will happen. Well, according to ABC Action News, the team received the Johnson & Johnson shot in March. It's now May. Seven of the eight cases are asymptomatic. While these breakthrough cases are still low, they are indeed occurring. According to the on-air reporter, Jameson Euler, quoting Yankees GM Brian Cashman, all the cases are of the COVID variants, which again alludes to one simple task we should have in society get vaccinated so these mutations do not fester the one thing i take from this i believe the vaccine is working cashman said we've got eight positives seven of the eight presented as without symptoms the washington post reports the cdc had previously warned that no vaccine is 100 percent foolproof and that a small percentage of people who are fully vaccinated will still get covid if they are exposed to the virus that causes it such people are deemed breakthrough cases, and the Yankees are now the first pro sports team to have an outbreak of them. The Johnson & Johnson vaccine in clinical trials found overall efficacy here in the U.S. of 72 percent, not 100 percent. It was, however, 100 percent effective in keeping people out of the hospital and saving lives. So again, that's with the J&J &J vaccine. We have to remember these vaccines they're doing their job. They're dropping cases. They're saving lives. They're keeping people out of the hospital. That does not mean that they will eradicate this virus. So we have to take this with a big chunk of salt. Dr. Jonathan Reiner, professor of medicine and surgery at George Washington University, told CNN, if someone does get COVID after being fully vaccinated, the symptoms will likely be far less severe than if they didn't get vaccinated at all. Again, Please get vaccinated. In my view, a point that has not been put out enough. Yankee shortstop Glaber Torres tested positive for a second time. His first positive test came all the way back in December 2020. He is fully vaccinated. Kosti Seafree, director of hospital epidemiology at UVA Health, said you also have the possibility to find people who have had past infection lingering positive tests that reflect past infection because we found that people in some instances can test positive for a significant period of time, sometimes a couple months after previous infection for the anti-science crowd one outlet actually put this in fine writing it's not possible to get covid from any of these three vaccines because none of them contain coronavirus this is certainly how politicized it has become